defend her control of Shanghai, Japan has brought 55,000 more troops up the Yangtze River. And as the Chinese armies mass in a great arc around the city's western outskirts, its war within a few miles of the international settlement, where more than three and a half million non-combatants live and work. And as the Japanese advance street by street, the retiring Chinese plant their snipers on every rooftop, raining sheets of chattering fire. These dramatic pictures just received were actually filmed during a battle in Shanghai's Chinese district. So thickly populated that every bomb and shell means death to hundreds. Every ruined house hides the agony of a people crushed by the steamroller of another war, waged, they say, for the sake of peace. Above Shanghai there hangs a pall of smoke. In the city, the doomed battalion. In this huge warehouse across the Suchow Creek, a gallant band of Chinese troops made a last stand against the advance of 40,000 Japanese. Chiang Kai-shek's Pak 88th Division made a suicidal attempt to stem the tide that flowed relentlessly against Shanghai. The GB News cameraman, only 75 yards away, gambled his life against these victims. In the foreground, Japanese soldiers draw the fire of hidden machine guns, hoping to reveal the secret of their whereabouts. Then a desperate attempt by Japanese volunteers to smash down the lower windows. Setting fire to a shed nearby, the Mikado's troops endeavoured to smoke out the doomed battalion. But under cover of that very smoke, 388 survivors escaped to British lines. They left behind 200 dead. Retreating Chinese made good their promise to cover their way with only burning ruins. What buildings, bombs and shells had left untouched, the desperate defenders put to the torch. Inside the international settlement, firefighters mobilized to prevent the spread of flames into that small oasis of peace in a war-ridden city. Now across the railway bridge of Suchow Creek begins to flow the ever-growing stream of pitiful humanity, women and children and old men, for in this modern age of civilization the innocent suffer more cruelly than the guilty. Civilian Chinese massed by the thousand at the gates of the international settlement. Here they know is shelter to be found from the horrors and barbarism of war. The foreigners in this land of China open their gates, but only a small proportion can be admitted. China's greatest and richest city is still ringed by a wall of fire. Bombs and shells still fall on the international settlement. British troops have been killed. Death ravages the Chinese city of Shabai.